It is crazy quiet. Like, I feel like I'm the only one in the streets. Hey guys, I'm taking my first train ride on this year trip. We're heading a little north of Madrid to a city called Segovia, and I am really excited to show you around. If you've never heard of Segovia before, you need to check it out because this town looks fantastic, and I am a big history person, so I'm so excited to walk around and explore and to take you all over. So I made it to Segovia and it was actually kind of eerie getting off the train because I felt like I was the only one getting off and I was the only passenger in a train station. So it's a little bizarre to me so I can definitely tell that it's lesser visited than other spots but holy cow, um, coming to the city it was beautiful. And you know, guys know how much I love public transportation and there's one bus that connects the railway station to the center of the historic town but ironically i miss it by five minutes the bus comes about every hour i didn't realize the timetable so i had to take a taxi to get in town versus waiting another hour just for the bus to come so i definitely recommend you checking out the timetable for the bus if you want to use public transport um, but taxi wasn't too too expensive it was nine euros which is more than i wanted to pay but um, I, there was no way else to get in town since the railway station is further away from the city and here I am in Plaza Mayor, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go see the town and take you along with me. First stop is the aqueduct, and it looks crazy from the pictures I've seen online, so I'll just have to show you in person. So I'm walking towards the aqueduct now, and I just have to say that it is 9 a.m., and it is crazy quiet. Like, I feel like I'm the only one in the streets. It is so serene, but it's 9 a.m. Like, <laughs> I always forget how um, Spain, beats so late and wakes up so late as well but it's nice to see everything to get all in for myself but it is very quiet so i made it to the aqueduct and it is just insane like how cool is this I cannot believe my eyes when I saw it and I was honestly looking at nearby towns um, to Madrid explore and I'm so glad I decided to come to Segovia. Like look, this is, I'm just, I'm freaking out. <laughs> So I just finished eating brunch, breakfast, lunch. Usually when I travel, I eat two meals a day, like an earlier um, meal between around 11 and then a meal around like five or six just to beat the rush um, because that's like off peak hours, I don't have to wait, so I prefer eating that way. But Spain's throwing me a little off because I tried to go to two or three different restaurants and they were all closed and then the one that said they were open wasn't actually serving their lunch menu so they were only basically serving coffee and toast. Uh, that's what I had but <laughs> I was definitely really hungry, I was craving a larger meal um, but I guess my approach of eating off peak doesn't work in Spain when I guess my off peak hours they're not even open. So I got the gate code and I'm about to go in. This is so exciting. All right, I am now inside the walls. How cool is this? It's only one euro to get the gate code, so I highly recommend going by the tourist office that is right around the corner. And you can also enter these walls. Hey guys, I've made this amazing viewpoint here with a great view of the city and it is just gorgeous and I will link the exact locations in the video. guys, I just finished touring a castle and now I'm walking around the castle area to find different viewpoints and there's amazing ones you cannot miss. Oh, ocean, but you don't have to dream because they 